guys, it's Zandria, and today's video, as you can probably tell by the title or whatever I'm doing here, is the Snowflakes Behind the Song video. And I am really excited to do this video for you today. I've been wanting to do it for a while, but I was like, you know, it's almost Christmas, people. We gotta get it done. So, um, this song is really special to me. Like, I just love it because it combines all my favorite Christmas memories into one song. And so, I'm so excited to share some of those today, kind of share what went into it and the things I was thinking about when I was writing the song um, because I just love Christmas so much it's my favorite time of year and I'm so excited to just kind of share what this means to me so we'll get right into it um, let's see I've got to think of the lyrics so the first verse um, goes I slip on my skates a chill on my face rosy cheeks the wind in my hair and one tradition we have every year um, our downtown area, they put up an ice skating rink, and we love going ice skating there. It is just so fun, and it's something we do every year. And so I was kind of just thinking of that memory, like that memory is what that first part is about. Because there's just something special about like putting on ice skates, and then just like the cold, and like skating with friends, it's so fun. So that, that inspired that part. Um, a beautiful day, a winter escape from the scent of pine in the air. Well, I mean, Christmas, Christmas trees, pine. But that's pretty self-explanatory. A lot of this song is very self-explanatory because it's just like painting pictures with words. It's just like me trying to put my memories into a song. So I don't need to explain too much, but I'll try and do a little bit of backstory. Um, Watching the snow fall like crystal rain, the seasons come again. So that just like we don't get snow very often we live in Tennessee I used to live in Wisconsin and then they got snow galore so um, I love snow but in Tennessee we don't get it that often so when we get it it's really special and it's always like so exciting we go out and bundle up and go play in it so that that was kind of what that was about um, and then this season's come again obviously when you are feeling like all the feelings of Christmas and it's cold outside like you really are like man it's Christmas time I love it so um, that's kind of what that was about everything's very self-explanatory so I'm just gonna keep going not gonna take too much time on it um, season's gonna again oh and then we're at the course which is like my favorite part I'm by the way if I'm just like but making weird movements. I'm holding hot chocolate, so I'm trying not to spill it all over this white chair and my white sweater. <laughs> so I got that going for me. Um, <laughs> so I'm just holding that down here. You can't see it, but that's what's going on. Um, so the chorus. I love the snowflakes in your eyelashes. That, that was actually the inspiration for the whole song. I had that line. I was like, wanting to write a Christmas song for a while. But I just kept struggling, like, what do I write a Christmas song about? Christmas songs are kind of iconic, like, if you write a Christmas song, not specifically talking about me, but like, just like, like, Mariah Carey, All I Want For Christmas Is You, or like, Kelly Clarkson Christmas songs, I'm trying to think of what they are. But like, Christmas songs are just really like, classic, and it's like, how do I create one of those to put out into the world? Like, it's gotta be good, because I love Christmas so much. And I just love music so much, obviously, and Christmas music is so fun to listen to. So I was like, I, it can't just be like, like, random fluff, you know? It's got to be something with meaning and something that I would love listening to myself. And so I was thinking for a while, I tried a few things, I don't even remember what they were, but they obviously didn't stick. And then I had this idea for like, snowflakes in your eyelashes, because like, that is just such, it's a pretty unique picture, but I feel like we can all, like, we can all see it. Like, when you're out in the snow with someone you love or with your family or friends and, like, the snowflakes are falling and they get in your eyelashes and they're, like, just fluttering. It's so pretty and it just, like, I don't know, just capturing that kind of moment is really special. So that kind of encompassed what I wanted the whole song to be about, just capturing special moments about Christmas and things that I loved and wanted to reminisce about. So that was that. Uh, I'm still placing my eyelashes. Cold days, cozy with Christmas cheer. That it's kind of like, 
even though it's cold, it's cozy. Like that's Christmas having the fire on. I, I, I don't need to explain this much because I'm literally gonna get to talking about fire very soon. So I'll just keep going. Um, it's my favorite time of year, obviously. Sipping cups of cocoa by the fire. That is just something I love doing. As you can tell, I love hot chocolate and I just made myself one because I was like, Christmas video, excuse to drink hot chocolate. So, um, had to do that. And obviously I had to put that in the song because I love sweet things. So, Christmas cookies, hot chocolate, all that had to be put in there. Um, sing along to songs we know by heart. That part, I was like, I, because I obviously loved Christmas songs before writing this, and so I had to just put, like, a tribute to all my other favorite Christmas songs, because White Christmas, I mean, Mariah Carey's All I Want for Christmas is You, Away in a Manger, just like all the classics, like, I don't know, I just love Christmas music. But, um, then decorate the Christmas tree with things we made when we were three. That line, we used, well, we still do, but our Christmas tree used to be just like all like our handmade ornaments that we did in school or at church or like all the things we made during the Holloway, Hall, Hall, Holloway, can't talk, holidays. <laughs> so, um, like I remember like, I don't know if you guys have ever done this, but those little pipe cleaner candy canes, if you ever made those, like the the not pink the red and white pipe cleaners that you twist together we have some of those upstairs on our tree for sure and like ornaments and like the little thumbprint like reindeers and stuff like <laughs> I mean I haven't thought about that in a while but yeah Christmas crafts um I <laughs> love those so that that's kind of where that came from and I'm sure you guys can all relate because who has not made Christmas crafts in school that you took over and were like, Mom, look what I made! Or like gave as a present to your parents on Christmas when you were little. Good times, man. Um, things you made, putting up those twinkly lights. Enough said. Movies there in black and white. Okay, that I just love. I love old movies so much. Like Audrey Hepburn is one of my biggest inspirations like her style is so cute it's my favorite style like I've got Audrey Hepburn magazines I was Audrey Hepburn for Halloween one year I have Remy got me like an Audrey Hepburn mug for Christmas one year it was so cute and he is just the sweetest little boy I love him um, but I just love I love like the classic old Hollywood and White Christmas is my favorite Christmas movie that one I don't think it's in black and white but it's still an old movie, and then It's a Wonderful Life, obviously, a Christmas classic. That one is so good. So, um, just, I wanted to, that's one of my favorite things about Christmas, is Christmas movies, so I wanted to put that in there, and just thinking about black and white movies is just kind of like, it makes you think about, like, reminiscing in old times and just good memories. So, uh, that's what that kind of came from, and, uh, oh, and then it just goes, ah, 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 I love the season and the reason for it all, it all, we don't have, oh, wait a second, <laughs> unflattering angle, reason for it all, I was going to say, we need, like, some manger thingy, and boom, that was just perfectly placed, but love the reason for it all wouldn't be Christmas without this little baby boy who came and changed our world. So I obviously had to put something about the one and only Jesus because he really is the reason for the season and he, I don't know, I, he sacrificed so much by coming to earth from heaven to give us a chance for a better life. So I wanted to put something about that because that's that's really what Christmas is about. We have all the fun Christmas decorations, Christmas music, Christmas movies, yummy food, but um, sometimes we lose sight of what it's really all about and the reason for it all. So I wanted to kind of put that there to kind of bring it back. You know, we're talking about all the fun memories, but uh, it wouldn't be Christmas if it weren't for Jesus Christ. Yeah. So um, moving on. Bundled in the cold, playing in the snow. I talked about that a little bit, but 
me and my brother, we love going outside and playing in the snow. When there's even like a little bit on the ground, we will go out because we, we don't get that much. But when we do, we're like, okay, let's go sled on the grass. Even if there's like only a little bit of snow, we will do whatever we can and try. Um, so that's always really fun. Playing in the snow. Oh, I just thought about one of the other things that um, inspired this. Okay, so there was an old book that we have upstairs. It's the Dick and Jane Christmas book, and it is so cute. I love it so much. And the kids are like out playing in the snow, and then like one by one they come in and bake Christmas cookies with their mom. And it is just so cute, and the pictures in it are just so sweet. Like, you, there's all these different Christmas cookies that they all make, and they're just like playing and having fun outside together. So that's kind of the picture I got from that because I don't know that book was always like one I loved reading at Christmas time, and I know where it is upstairs, so I'm gonna have to go read it after I'm done with this because it's just so cute, and it's like a little classic Christmas book that we used to read. So, definitely recommend it. Um, yeah, so that's where that came from. I totally forgot about that. So, stories fall on the sky, stay out till we're frozen, and then we go and bake gingerbread cookies inside. It was just pulling from that book. Together with family and friends, this season's come again. Yeah. So, I love being with family and friends, obviously. That's really what makes it feel special. Even if you don't have all the other stuff, if you're with people you love, that really just, I don't know, you can feel Christmas without the decorations and all the other Christmassy stuff if you had your peeps with you, the people that you love. So that was that. I mean, it's pretty, it's just kind of sharing my favorite things about Christmas. Um, back into the chorus and then the bridge. I love this feeling, there's something so magical about it. Um, I, I love that feeling. There's something so magical about it. It's, I don't know. We used to, on a street we used to live on, sometimes when it would snow, like, it just looked so pretty and everything was just covered in white and the street lamps would just like sparkle and everything just like sparkled and it was magical. Like, you don't really get that same feeling in summer or in spring or in fall really like there's nothing like when everything is covered in a blanket of snow and it's just like glistening in the sun it's so pretty so I that's another thing I haven't thought about in a while it's like a few houses ago but I remember like this picture in my head of like looking out at the street and like Whoa. <laughs> Tangent. Um, back to the song. About it, about it. Universal of hopes and from above. Hopes and from above. Um, universal love. Just like spreading the Christmas cheer. Like, I feel like we should get into doing that more, but when you see when you see that in action, it really is a beautiful thing. Just watching us unite with strangers and people we don't know and just like spreading love. I feel like we should do that every day, not just around Christmas time. So um, that's kind of where that came from. Universal of hopes and from above to every girl and boy, there's a special joy. Yeah. And then chorus. And yeah, so that's basically, oh, I just love the song. Every time I like think about it, I, I listen to this song on my own and I just get like, oh my goodness, I love those memories. Like, it, you might think it's weird to listen to your own song, but I just, I don't know, it just brings back so many good memories every time I listen to it. And it just like, oh, <laughs> gets me all emotional. So I just love this song and I hope that you guys like it too and if you relate to any of like the Christmas memories or like the Christmas crafts or any of your favorite things about Christmas let me know I love I mean obviously I'll talk about Christmas all day I love it so much so feel free to comment or message me and like share those because I would love to hear them but I hope you guys have a wonderful Christmas and just spread the Christmas love and Christmas joy that I was talking about with 
people that you meet, just smile at a stranger because sometimes that can brighten someone's day. You don't know what people have gone through this time of year. Sometimes this is a hard time of year for people. If they've lost someone they love and they aren't spending Christmas with them, that that can be really hard. And if that's you today, I just want you to know that that I love you and that you're gonna make it through it and feel free to message me. I'd love to talk with you and pray with you about it because I, I can't even imagine how hard that must be. Um, so just a simple smile or sometimes we get so caught up in things like sh Christmas shopping. Like I've started doing that now that I'm older and we can really get caught up in the material aspect of it. But let's take time to really just get down to the true meaning of it and spread that true love not just in giving things to people but give them give them love give them special memories give them a smile just make try and make someone's day and that is really the best gift that you can give it doesn't have to be something that's going to vanish one day it could be a memory that stays forever so i hope you guys have a wonderful memory filled Christmas and have wonderful times with your family and friends. Make lots of memories and take some time to just reflect on the true meaning of Christmas. But I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching this video. I appreciate you more than you know. I just love getting to talk with you guys and every, everything that you do for me is like such, it's a gift. All your support and love for my music and just for me, your encouragement, it means the world. So I love you guys and I hope you have an awesome Christmas. Merry Christmas! <laughs>